Hi friends, I'm Angel. Welcome to church. <laughs> yes, oh, I'm so glad you're here. It always brightens up my day when we can get together and learn about God. And today is a special day because we're gonna learn about a man named Joseph. Joseph lived a long, long time ago. But what makes him so important and so special is that every moment of his life, God was with him. Every moment, imagine, every moment of your life, God is with you. Yes. Well, let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps. And let's see what my friends Zara and Sarah have to say about Joseph. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Zara. We're so glad you're joining us today. We're learning about a guy in the Bible named Joseph. Oh, oh, Sarah, I know him. He, he had a pretty rainbow coat. I, I want a rainbow coat. Do, do you have a rainbow coat? You know what, I don't. That would be really fun though, to have a coat like Joseph, but even though Joseph had a really cool coat, he still had some really hard times. How can you have hard times with a rainbow coat? Well, we're gonna learn about his story together and see. The amazing thing about Joseph's story though is that God was with him through everything and God is with us too. Like God is with me all the time? Oh yeah. Like, like when I'm sad? Yeah. Or, or when I'm happy? Yeah. Oh. What about, like, when I sing and dance? Absolutely. Hey, how about we sing and dance together right now and tell God how much we love him? <gasps> yeah, that sounds like so much fun. <laughs> All right, friends, go ahead and stand up with us. Yeah, let's sing a song to God. Let's clap our hands together. We're gonna sing this Children of God song. We're gonna sing, we are loved, we are forgiven, we are free. He said, let there be light. He said, let there be light. He put the stars in the sky. And it was good in his sight. Everyone go like this. He put the fish in the sea. And you created me. To the focus of your love. Let's sing because of your love. Because of your love. Sing that out again. Because of your love. We Reach this way. Your grace rescue me so we can praise and sing a savior and king. Let's sing out because of your love. Because of your love. Sing that again. Because of your love. We you can. We
great singing and dancing. You can all sit down now. <gasps> Miss Sarah, is it time to learn about Joseph and his pretty coat now? Absolutely. Do you know where we can find Joseph's story? Hmm, um, at the park? <laughs> no, not at the park. In our very special book. Do you know what God's special book is called? Oh, <laughs> the Bible! That's right. So let's open up our Bible and see Joseph's story. Stories of the Bible. Joseph forgives. This is Joseph. Hey! Who was the son of Israel and Rachel. But he had 11 brothers who hated him and sold him into slavery. Yeep! After being put in jail, Joseph told of the future of Egypt when he interpreted Pharaoh's dreams. And Joseph found favor with the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh made Joseph a leader in his kingdom. Just as Joseph had told the Pharaoh, Egypt had seven years of abundance. Then the seven years of abundance came to an end and the seven years of famine began. Hmm just as Joseph had said. But the Egyptians had food to eat because Joseph had planned for the famine. There was famine in all the other lands and many came to Joseph to buy food. There was even a famine in the land that Joseph came from. So when Israel heard that there was grain in Egypt, he sent his sons to buy some. But Israel did not send Benjamin with the others Aww. because he was afraid that harm might come to him. When Joseph's brothers came to him, Joseph recognized them, uh -huh. but he pretended to be a stranger. Uh -huh. So Joseph decided to test his brothers. Uh -huh. He had his interpreter tell them to send for Benjamin, who had stayed home. Him. And then he threw his brothers in jail for three days. <laughs> On the third day, Joseph let all but one of the brothers take grain to their starving households with the instruction to bring Benjamin back. <laughs> but Joseph provided for his brother's journey and gave them grain and silver. The brothers did exactly as Joseph instructed, as they were scared that God was punishing them for what they had done to Joseph so many years before. They traveled home to their father's house, Yippee! then back to Egypt. Now that he had seen that they brought Benjamin, Joseph was overwhelmed, so he released the brother who was still in prison. But Joseph decided to play one more trick on his brothers. He sent the brothers away, but told his servant to hide his silver cup in Benjamin's bag. Then Joseph told the servant to go after the brothers and retrieve the cup. The brothers hadn't traveled far before the servant stopped them and accused them of stealing the cup. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Joseph could no longer control himself before his attendants. He made them leave so he could be alone with his brothers, and he told his brothers who he really was. Ta-da! He told them of his life and all he had experienced, and he forgave them for what they had done. God was with Joseph and took care of him and showed him favor. story. Joseph did have a lot of bad things happen to him. I wonder if he ever felt sad. He might have, but Joseph said that through it all, he knew God was with him and that God was making good things come out of the bad. Can God do that for me too? He sure can. Are, are you sure? Yeah, I know that God makes things better because of our Bible verse. Well, what's our Bible verse? Romans 8.28. Well, what does it say? It says, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. But, but what does that mean? Well, it means that even when bad things happen to us, God can make it better because we love him and he has a special plan for our lives. Oh, wow. I want to remember that. 
I have an idea. Let's learn the verse by singing it together. Yeah! Oh! Oh! Wait! Can I dance too? Absolutely. Let's all stand up together. So we can dance! Right. And let's sing Romans 828. This song is Romans 8:28. Let's get bouncing together. This song is about how God works everything out for our good. So you guys, we're gonna start by singing, and we know, and we know. Can you guys sing it out? Here we go. And we know, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good. Romans 8, 28. Romans 8, 28. All right, you guys, let's dance together. Do you guys spin around like this? Good job. And the other way? All right, let's sing. And we know. And we know, and we know that God causes everything to work to Romans 8, 28. Romans 8, 28. All right, you guys, let's clap our hands like this. And let's spin. Let's sing, and we know. Here we go. And we know, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God. Romans 8, 28. Romans 8, 28. All right, you guys, let's dance together. Let me see you moving. And let's spin. And go the other way. That was so fun. You can all sit down now. I love that verse. I want to dance and sing to that song all the time. That's great, Zara. And it's so good for us to remember that God is with us no matter what's happening. Yeah, I think I need to remember that when I feel sad. Me too. And I also want to remember it when I'm happy. God is the best. He sure is. Now, it's time for us to meet up with some of our friends at school. Oh, fun! I love school! <laughs> Me too. So let's put on our thinking caps. Got it. And our listening ears. Mm -hmm. Check. And let's join some of our friends for Scuppets Go to School. Bye, Mr. David. See you later, Winston. Hey, Melly, how was school today? It was fun until Bastos broke my pinwheel. Oh, no. That would make me sad, too. Maybe, maybe we can fix it. Do you have any tape? Yeah, in my backpack. I think we can fix this. Oh, it won't be the same. I spent all the day working on it and making it beautiful, and then Bustos just sat on it. It makes me so mad. It would make me mad too, Mally. But do you think you can forgive Bestos? What? How do I do that? Well, when we forgive somebody, we let go of all of our bad feelings towards that person. Oh, so to forgive Bestos, I would have to stop being mad at him for breaking my pinwheel? Yeah. And I know that sounds really hard, but I think you can do it. Remember that guy we've been learning about in the Bible named Joseph? Oh, yeah. He's the one with the 11 brothers. Yeah. And his brothers were really mean to him. And he could have stayed mad at them forever. He even had the chance to get back at them. Oh, yeah. But he didn't. He chose to forgive them instead of being mad. What? How'd he do that? He had help. Oh. God is with us when we forgive others. God has forgiven us of so much, he wants us to forgive others too, so he helps us to do it when we ask him to. Oh, okay. I think I need to ask God to help me forgive Bestos. That's good, Melly. And remember that God is with us when we forgive others. Now look, <gasps> it's all fixed. Oh, wow! That 
looks great! Yeah. Thank you so much! You're welcome. <laughs> now, I think it's time for me to go find Bestos to forgive him. That's great, Mally. You know, I saw him after school. He said something about needing to head to the library. He, uh, he had left his shoes there? Oh, yeah. Bestos keeps his shoes at the library. Can you help me cross the street so I can go find him? Sure. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Hello again. Boys and girls, I want you to remember through all the happy times and the sad times, the exciting times and the frustrating times, God is with you through all these times. God is with you and God is with me. God is with you right now. Wow. Before we leave, before we say goodbye, let's say a prayer. Put five fingers here and five fingers there. And let's put them together to say a prayer. Repeat after me. Dear God, I didn't hear you, okay. Good. Dear God, thank you for being with me. Thank you for being with me in the happy times and the sad times. And when I'm having a rough day, I love you. Amen. <laughs> oh, boys and girls, I had so much fun being with you today. I'll see you next week. Okay, bye. <laughs>